to show you an easy way to crop pictures um, that you, if you have like a, for our example, if you're doing the Winograski um, column project and you have taken all four of your bottles, you probably need to start taking them one at a time so you can get details on what's going on. But um, in any case, if you've done all four, you only want to show one at a time. And so I'll have another video showing you how to make a figure using a similar technique to this. Um, but for now, I'll just show you how to make a JPEG. Now you can just use a photo program and crop, um, but the, the PowerPoint makes it pretty easy. I mean, if you're just doing photo manipulation, I would definitely do that, but I'll show you here. Okay, so here's our PowerPoint. We just want to put a picture in, so you can do that a number of ways. For me, if I just go, I don't know if PCs do this, but if I just go to my finder and I find what picture I want, just drag it in, there's my picture. Um, or if you can't do that, you can do, you know, insert probably here with pictures or pictures from file and you choose your picture there same thing okay so now we have our now we have our picture and we want to just crop to this first bottle let's say so one way you can do this is just go straight crop so you just go to picture format pc is a little different than mac but if you don't know where something is you can always just go um to the menu and it'll show you different options you can of course go to the help or here I could just search for crop and it would get me there okay so um, I'm gonna crop it just straight in this case and so great you click off of it and then you have your crop bottle there I actually wouldn't crop it like this I'd crop it closer to just the bottle so let's go back to crop now instead of changing the size um, I'm just going to change the size of the picture so I'm gonna drag it by the corner Never the sides. Sides make it squishy, all right? The corner is going to keep the proportions proper. So it's just like scaling it instead of changing the whole size. So if you need to move it around just little by little and you want to use the arrow keys, you can go to the picture menu under the picture format or format picture, and you go to the crop. And then here you have the options of picture position. So you can offset X and Y and that'll move it left and right or up and down. So let's say I just want to move it a little bit. We could do that this way if you're having trouble with the um, with your mouse. I mean, you can even move it very little bits by putting in numbers. So if you have stuff going on in the bottle, like on the um, side of the bottle up here, something's growing, you'll want to show that as well. You don't need to show the cap though. Okay, that looks like decent. So what you could do there is you can then um, right click on it and save as picture. And then you can choose whatever format you want, PNG or um, JPEG are options here. So you just you know name it something and put it wherever you want to find it. And then you have a regular old picture that then you can move and put in wherever you need to. Um, okay, so here's my original picture that's in the cropped version. So what I can do is just click on it do crop again and then I just move it over all right and so there we go now I could just take that and save as picture and we'd have a different picture then I come back and crop and just move to the third bottle this one the water's a little higher so I want to make sure I get the whole thing in great okay so there my save as picture and then I would do my last one so then I could save this as picture and I'd have a nice straight one for there as well now, I'm not crazy about it because it's crooked. I have a rotate button here and I can rotate it, but then it won't let me crop it straight because it only crops with the initial picture. So for a solution to that, what you can do is you can take and draw a shape. So I'm just gonna draw a square. Oh, so I did that by doing, um, there's a menu here with the shape. You can also do insert shape, choose whatever. I'm sure there's an insert, here we go. There you go, rectangle, so great. And inserted a shape there. I'm gonna change it to size. I'll do the 5.5 by three. That seemed to be reasonable for a bottle. Um, okay, so now this is straight. I'm gonna straighten this image here. So I'm gonna turn the rotate and I'm gonna to try to like make that, you know, line up, up and down. So I think that that's straight. Okay, then I'm going to choose this picture by clicking on it. I'm gonna um, copy it, so Command C or, or Control C. Uh, or you can probably right click and do copy. All right, so I've copied that picture. Now I'm gonna click in my shape. And this shape is what I want the picture to look at, look like in the end. I'm gonna go to my shape format and then my format pane. 
or you can go to here. So you're trying to find a fill. So shape fill and you can choose picture or in my format pane under the shape format menu, I can go to the fill, you see it here, and I can choose picture. So I'm choosing picture and then I'm gonna use clipboard and it inserts it from my copy. So because I copied that, control C or, or command C, that's on my clipboard. And so it inserts that and you can see now it's the straight version of the picture which comes from this copy. If you ever have a shape and you're filling it with a picture and the picture comes in squashy. So I'm gonna fill it this time. You can ignore that, the picture with an insert. I'm gonna choose a um, file here, okay. And you'll notice that is clearly not the right proportions, right? It's very squashed. So you're gonna to go to picture format and what you need to do is to go to the crop and you need to say fill. So fill is going to put it back to its normal proportions and it's not, it's not gonna pay attention to the shape. So before what it was trying to do is to fit the image in the shape, which is not what we want to do. And so then you could um, resize it there. Of course, I, this is probably not the right shape to use for this. Not that it matters that much really. I could just put it in there and then click off of it. And then if I didn't want the border, I'd just go to the line and put no line. And anyway, so there I could use that if I was looking for a certain width perhaps. So again, all you need to do is to go to the crop and do the fill. And I like to do that every time I put a new picture in, whether it's from the clipboard or from a file, just to make sure that I haven't messed up the proportions without realizing it uh, when I've cropped it to a shape. Great, so those are some options for cropping pictures in PowerPoint, um, turning them into JPEGs or PNG files to use on their own.